Hi there, I'm Lucy Van Olden Barneveld. Welcome to our special Easter Monday broadcast of CBC Ottawa News. Well, there is a slight bit of optimism tonight in the province because of the manageable number of people who are being hospitalized with COVID-19. But at the same time, there is devastation and worry about what is happening in our long-term care homes and patients there. We'll have more on all of those stories, but first let's start with today's numbers. Here in Ottawa, this city is reporting 25 new COVID-19 cases for a total of 586 known cases in this city. 11 people have died as a result. In the province of Ontario, there were 421 new confirmed cases for a provincial total of 7,470. This province has seen 321 deaths. And a long-term care home in Carleton Place has confirmed that two of its residents have died as a result of COVID-19. Stone Ridge Manor has been dealing with an outbreak at its facility. 29 residents and 19 staff have tested positive. Hillary Johnstone reports. Brennan Pacey visits Stone Ridge Manor daily so he can wave through a ground floor window to his 102-year-old grandmother. Pacey says his grandmother is still healthy and the home is providing his family with updates. Still, they're taking it day by day. I'm not going to lie, it's, it's very stressful every day, as I say, is a new experience. And you basically just sit on the edge of your seat and you hold your breath, hoping that something will give and uh, that she'll come out of this okay. Public health officials have confirmed two residents at the home have died from COVID-19. One resident who'd previously tested positive died Saturday. A second resident died April 3rd, but the local health unit has only now confirmed the death was due to the coronavirus. People who live near the home are now painting large signs and putting them up on their properties. They show supportive messages for the residents and staff inside the home. John Bailey's house faces Stone Ridge Manor. So we really just had our fingers crossed that it you know, wouldn't be as bad as we've had in other places and we've still got our fingers crossed. Meanwhile, Stone Ridge Manor says it's serving residents meals in their rooms and all staff are wearing full personal protective equipment. Hillary Johnstone, CBC News, Carlton Place. Meanwhile, in Almont, there have been more deaths at a senior's residence there. The Almont Country Haven home, two more residents have died of complications because of the respiratory illness. That brings the total of deaths in this home to 16. More than 30 other residents have tested positive for COVID-19. Break of coronavirus at another facility for seniors here in Ottawa. Public Health reports that the outbreak is at the Waterford Retirement Centre. It is a family-owned and operated home on Bank Street. Ontario now is reporting 119 deaths in seniors' residences across the province. The Ford government is defending its moves at preventing the spread of COVID-19 in those residents. Our Queen's Park reporter Mike Crawley has more on that story. This is the Eatonville long-term care home in Etobicoke. Family members of three different residents tell CBC News they received a phone call last night with a recorded message from the home's director announcing that 14 residents have died. That was shocking. Jacqueline Mitchell's 